All right, guys, part two of this little series where I'm going to show you how to catch these guys. Stay tuned. All right. So you watched the first part of this video uh, where I make this go shrimp pump. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking through to the second part where we catch them. If you haven't seen it, you want to know how to make one of these pumps, I'll leave it linked in the description below. Make sure to check out that video before watching this one. But here we go. Now we're going to go catch them. And uh, I'm going to kind of show you what to look for and uh, where to go and how to catch these. So first off, you want to find an area that is protected from the waves and the, and the ocean. So there's no big crashing waves, but it's still salt water. So like in general, some bays, uh, some sloughs, some harbors are good places to start. And uh, you want to try and go when there's a low tide. So right now, I've set this up perfectly. So we got a negative tide. It's actually, I think the low tide is at 12.10. And it's about 12.15 right now. So just after the low tide, plenty of water to look for. And uh, we should be able to find some ghost shrimp out here. Stay tuned. Should be a quick and easy episode. Okay, so these are the little, see these little holes? The sand's a little bit dug out. These are the kind of holes that you want to look for. And these are created by the ghost shrimp and they dig in. And uh, try to find one that's a little more active, like that one looks promising. And uh, we'll see if there's any ghost shrimp in these. So basically what you want to do is you just want to stick the pump right over the top, push it down a little bit as much as you can, and then suck it up and shoot it out. And uh, if you didn't get any the first time, try it again. Sometimes it takes a few pumps. Not all the holes have ghost shrimp in them, so if you didn't find any in the first one, don't get discouraged, just move on to another hole. All right, so if you pump enough holes, we'll find one that's got a ghost shrimp in it. And that's a, that's a pretty small one, but that'll work for a nice surf perch. I'll be using this for bait, so we'll put this one in the box. We'll keep looking. I'm gonna try to pump a few of these holes out in a little bit deeper water. Seems to be where there's a little more holes that are filled with actual grass shrimp. And there you go. That's what they look like right there. And these things are good for bait for plenty of fish here in the Bay Area. I'll talk a little bit about it at the end of the video. But that's a nice one. That's what we're looking for right there. we try to find a few more here. We shoot the sand into the water and then kind of wait for the dust to clear. And you'll see the ghost shrimp kind of struggling along the bottom of the ocean. And like I said before, a lot of these holes don't have anything, so if you don't find any in a couple of holes, don't get, don't get discouraged. Just keep on moving on to another hole. I like to do three pumps in one hole, and then if you don't see anything, move on to another one. Okay, so once all the dust settles, then you'll see this little orange shrimp looking thing come out of the, the dust, and that's your ghost shrimp right there. That's not a big one, it's a little guy. Let's get him out here. That'll work good for bait. Good bite sized little piece of uh, ghost shrimp there. Throw him in. There it goes, it came right out of the hole. You probably saw it on film before I saw it in person. But there it is right there. That's a nice sized ghost shrimp. That's perfect. Yeah, that'll be a perfect bait for a lot of different fish here in the Bay Area. That's another thing, when you're pumping these holes, I didn't mention it earlier, when, you, when you're pumping them, obviously you're checking you know, the sand that's coming out, but you also want to check the hole because like this one you probably saw it on film before even saw it in person it came shooting out of the hole really easy to see once they come out of the sand this bright orangey almost red color big claws and uh, yeah that's a nice size ghost shrimp right there
There's our hole. Good mix of some small ones, some jumbos, and some just right in the middle. This is gonna be perfect bait for us. So one thing to note, I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, is uh, here in California, the limit on these is 50 per person. So obviously I don't have 50 here, but if you're going out and getting a bunch, make sure you're doing it legally. And uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, great, you got these weird looking orange shrimp like things what are you going to do with them so these ghost shrimp are actually really good bait for all kinds of different species here in the bay area and elsewhere on the west coast and i assume on the east coast as well um, here in the bay area anything from surf perch striped bass starry flounder uh, i'm sure you can catch rockfish and even big old sturgeon 100 pound sturgeon will eat these little things just that much more rewarding when you catch it yourself rather than buying them at the store. And so that's going to conclude this episode. Like I said earlier, quick video on how to catch these ghost shrimp. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous video on how to make this guy, check the link below. And if you're more into the fishing side of things, not to worry. That's going to be part three of this uh, little mini series where I take these guys out to the water and see what we can catch.